Hey everyone, um, it's August 2nd here in Minnesota and we're doing a little more mushroom foraging today. Um, the lobster mushrooms are starting to come out now and they're, you know, they're, they're pretty unmistakable. Um, this is going to be a short video, you know, I'm sure you guys like to see short videos that are very informative though. Um, I'll show you some, some lobster mushrooms that I have harvested and some that are still out here on the ground so you know what they look like. But they're pretty unmistakable and you really can't, you know... Uh, think that they're another mushroom so I'll flip this around Let's take a look look at that see that see that big orange clumpy you're not gonna mistake that mushroom for any other mushroom I mean they're very bulky and and they grow on the ground you know in sparse woods you know with a lot of a lot of undercover vegetation um, let's see here so I mean there's a lot of ironwood here there's some oaks you know there's some choke cherry trees and you can see you can see there's one right there another one there looks like some there and there we're gonna walk over and take a look here okay so here's one right here okay plain as day um let's see here I'll pause this okay i just cut this guy off here um the stem's nice and white um, doesn't look like there's any bug holes in it, maybe one or two, but when you cut these off, you'll find some that are just covered with bug holes in there, and that's not what you want. Um, you want nice, clean mushrooms that aren't, you know, once, I mean, this, this one here doesn't look too bad. They actually, when they start to turn, they get a little, little, uh, growth on them, you know, that looks like mold or something, and they start to smell like fish, like rotting fish, really bad. Like, really bad. Um, let's see here, I'll put that guy down, I can see... I can see more. We're gonna we're gonna get a couple more for you guys here. Oh look at I mean there's gosh they're just out here thick. I can see them in there. Look at the size of that one right there. There's one there. There's another one here. Like I said, very you know orange. They literally look like a lobster. You know that you would probably see in a tank or in the water somewhere. There's more there. More here. This one here looks pretty interesting actually. This looks like a really nice one, actually. I bet I can get my knife under here if I can find that stem. Oops. Oh, my video isn't too shaky there, people. There we go. I just cut this guy off. There it is. Now there's a really nice mushroom. Bright white stem. No bug holes in it. Top is nice and clean. Um, not a lot of dirt all over it. But you, you will get dirt on them, you know, and you will have to clean them off. But um, you can saute these up with, you know, just by themselves or with a steak or one of my favorite recipe is called braised lobster mushroom. And you can actually cook the mushroom whole. Um, I, you know, I should put a video up, but I haven't put up a video of lobster mushroom hunting yet. But you can see, look at this, you know, one, two, three, back in there is a big one, four, five, six. You know, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that whole bag I got back there. Um, they're starting to come out in full force right now. And the thing is with them, you get some rain on them, and they start to they start to mold up and go bad. So uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna we'll do one more mushroom. Then I'm gonna, this this one back here looks just massive. So we're not gonna. We, I can't help it. We got to go back and see if this one's good or not. We're gonna cut it down once. There you go the size of that mushroom oh it's a good one too look at that not a bunch of bug holes in the stems you know eh, there's a crack in there but that's all right i mean they got they they got to be cleaned out um to clean them you can literally run these underwater get them with a toothbrush they're pretty hardy you know um and they don't really soak up water a lot just i don't i don't soak in water i just run it run it over them so anyway everybody that's a good august mushroom to go find lobster mushrooms Go get you some. Thanks for watching.